here I have a black porphyrin and uh, which I have applied half teaspoon salt and half teaspoon turmeric powder now it's been uh, five minutes I will begin with the recipe please note down the ingredients for this recipe Okay, so in the first place, I'm gonna switch on the heat and I uh, will let the pan heat for a while. Pan is nice and hot, I will add vegetable oil. Now, in the first place, I will lower heat on two. I will add asafoetida and then I have mustard seeds. So I will fry these two ingredients on very low heat, that is two, and I'll wait till the mustard seed uh, crackle. Mustard seed have a crackle, I will add curry lid, saute for a minute. Increase heat on medium 5 and in a minute I will add ingredients. I have garlic, ginger and cucumber petals. I put two. So I will add the garlic and the ginger along with the cucumber first and saute for two minutes. In two minutes, I will add onion, that is half medium onion, saute on medium heat. In three minutes, I will add ginger garlic paste, that's one teaspoon, saute for a minute. As ginger garlic paste is now separated, I will add tomato and chili. Stir for a few minutes like I want the tomato to be very soft and mashy. So for this, I will cover and uh, cook for a few minutes. In the meantime, uh, here I've got uh, tamarind water and red chili powder along with sugar. I'll add sugar in there and the red chili powder. And then I have half teaspoon turmeric powder. We'll get this a good mix. So a good paste is ready for the curry so let's go on to the frying area okay so it's been to four minutes and tomato is nice and soft at this point i will add the cumin powder with the second stir Now lower heat on two again. We'll add the ala, the paste. Make this a good mix. We'll stir this for a minute. Different way of cooking. Now masala have fried well. Now I will rinse water in this. I've added one cup water I will increase heat on high and add the rinsed water that's one cup now I will cover and cook this for three to four minutes 
Okay, so let me check. Now I will lower heat up to. Well, there's a good aroma here. Okay, now increase heat on high and uh, add rest of the water. Added two cups water is gravy. Last, I'm gonna add onion powder. Not much, very little. That's this one. Give this a good stir. Now you can adjust with the tamarind and sugar. I used a mild uh, red chili powder, so it's not spicy. So adjust with the chili, tamarind and sugar. So this is it. Now we are going to add the fish. So there should be a sufficient water for the fish to dip in the gravy. point I will lower heat on 3 and cover and cook this for 5 to 6 minutes okay so in 6 minutes there's a good aroma in here and lovely so as I told you uh, you will have to check the sweetness and the sourness uh, for, as for me the sourness is good and the sweetness you can always add hot and sweet tomato sauce for sweetness and the uh, taste so I'm gonna grab one tablespoon hot and sweet tomato sauce and I'm check the taste of the curry it will make a lot of difference in the sweetness a oh, wonderful oh, yeah amazing fresh curry is now ready so we're going to serve hot on white rice or brown rice whichever rice but it's really a uh, delicious so we'll switch off the heat and we'll serve hot. Okay, so friends, this fish curry is cooked in the clay uh, pen like this. We say kune and it's always tastier when you cook in this type of a pan. So, uh, but I did not because I actually don't know how to, you know. So, I recommend you to cook in this type of a pan and you will uh, see the difference in the taste of the curry and so now we are ready to go. So now if you have liked this video please go ahead and hit the red button below and please do like and share.